and I had no idea. I, I was like, oh, yeah, so I'm going to order food. pizza. And he's like, oh, yeah, I got food. And but I was we like, ended oh, up not ordering. Robbie gets here. And you oh, don't, and then I didn't want it. You didn't want it. Like, oh, uh, I'm stuck. And I was like, fuck, hungry. now I got a big-ass pizza. But I'm sure I'll find somewhere to put it. Yeah, in your stomach. <laughs> you piece How of shit. How big pizza did you order? The biggest pizza they got. The Shedcast. Brought to you by Alien Entourage and the Riverside Culture. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Shedcast. I have taken this thing over. Run your mouth. We're done with it. We're merging into one. Luckily, I was able to get rid of Sid. That's what I told him. I said, I'll do your podcast. I will join this thing, but you got to get rid of Sid. Sid, he talks too much. He's got too much arrogance. He's coming at me with too much energy. He, uh, I don't know what else I have to say bad about Sid, but now that he's gone, I'm happy to actually uh, be here officially a part of your podcast. Um, it's the, the, shed, the Shed Mouth. Yeah, that sounds That's good. That's not bad. That's pretty good, actually. That was right off the top. I just, it's right now, you know, now. I, it's because I'm hanging out with you guys. And influenced I'm, you. Yeah, I'm starting to figure out how to drop them bars, you know? <laughs> Hell yeah, absolutely. Dude, I'm happy to have you here, and we're fucking happy to fucking host run or the shed mouth now that we've, we're calling it the shed mouth. <laughs> now I, that we finally got rid of Sid. Yeah, dude, I've been having a fucking blast these last couple of weeks, actually. We've Without him, I know. It, you guys have been trying to get rid of him for years, and it took you guys meeting me to finally displace <laughs> him from the shed, and you're welcome. It's awesome. I really, really appreciate it. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, you're listening to the Shedcast. You're here with your boy Mike Nice, as usual. And as you know, Robbie Bernstein, the fire is in the house, and you're here also with your boy Shed Tech 8. Not bad. Being, being very bad. quiet. Being Not very bad. quiet today. I don't know what to get. And uh, we were just talking about uh, Family Feud not that long ago, and we were talking about how savage uh, Steve Harvey is. And I don't know if you've seen it or if you watch Family Feud, but he can get fucking pretty savage on people. Isn't it amazing that Family Feud still exists? I was never a Family Feud fan, but just think about how many hosts it's gone through. You had Louis Anderson for a time. Oh, my, one of my favorites. In I don't tech, really, one of my favorites. <laughs> yeah, look at his face. <laughs> I don't know who the original host was, but then you also had the guy from um. Oh, Ro- it was Dawson. Yeah, the Richard home, Dawson. What, that's, Not Richard Dawson. What's his name? The original oh. host... A okay. family feud. I think his name's. Uh, what did that guy look like? No, I think that's like his a name. Smooth. Can you pull up the, yeah, yeah. the picture? Of he's Richard like a Dawson? smooth. Uh, he's not an actor, but he's in the biz though. And what was the name of the guy from Home Improvement? Because it's not Richard Dawson. Oh, oh. he had it for a while too. It was the guy. It was his. Oh, was, was it Tim? Time. Yeah. Oh, it was his um, it was the uh, co-host. Uh, Al. Oh, uh, he. This guy just looks yeah. like the seventies. And he also. Yeah. I think he looks. He's kissing all everyone. I don't even know if he did. It's him and the guy. Fr- see how he's ki- he kisses all the women in, uh, on the show. What a creep! He looks like Tom Jones, and he was Yo, just put, always put, smoking see? a cigarette. Yeah, put him Richard Dawson kissing contestants. That would be fun, and and um. Remember the show where you would have to fill in the blank? That really old show? Where it'd be like, Myrtle and her friends are in the park, and they're playing a game of cards when a suddenly a blank hit them, in the, oh, and you're um, like, what the fuck? <laughs> what, like, was that, what was that thing called? It was Mad Lips. Match Game? No, that's not Match Game. No, it was Match, match game. game. Match Game. And then you'd have to match I the contestant. You'd have to match the contestant's answers. Oh, And then okay. he'd come to you and be like, so what do you think? But, and he'd say the answer in the blank, and you'd be like, a uh, car or whatever. I tell you, that sounds like that sucks. Oh, it was the sixties, <laughs> I think it was, and yeah. it was fun for the sixties. And they were getting, they were getting, uh, real edgy. Like they were making jokes that were, they actually were making like pretty like, like racy jokes here and there, like right. like kind of on the borderline. But that was what it was. That was comedy, I think, back then. Right. Because it's the sixties, and like you know what I mean. And part of it was just kind of getting things past. And they were all comedic, like actors, I think. Like they're not like they're all the contest like the people on the panel were all comedian comedians or actors or I guess they weren't I don't know if there was comedians really back then too much, like in the sixties too much Ray Combs was after Richard Dawson damn okay and he also did the the newlywed game Ray Combs yeah I think he did the newlywed game after the Family Feud that's a really good gig the uh, TV game show oh, host hell yeah dude like yeah, how much money do you think the Jeopardy guy is worth <laughs> Bill. <sighs> Half a million, Trebek? half a billion. Yeah, dude. he's worth a couple hundred million. He's got to be. He's the only guy. Thirty it's like million. Him and Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune. Pass Ajax. Thirty million. I'm saying. Thirty. Yeah. Ah, no way, dude. They went, dude. Put. What are you gonna put? Net worth. Yeah. 
damn, yo, he's got to be worth a lot of money. Over under on 50, 18, 18? That's it. Expected to be seven. no per Jeopardy season. Eighteen oh, million for a million. fucking season. Think about how much money that means he spends a year. Then <laughs> yeah. if he's like, he's only worth seventy five. <laughs> no wonder that guy just doesn't. If I were him, like. I would just take fucking steroids and crack just to get through one more season and be able to give $18 million to my family. Dude, he gets savage, too. Like, when they don't know the answers, he'll say the answer in, like, a way where he's like, you should have known this. Oh, like you... Well, what if, well that show but he's is based reading, off pompous He's dudes, right? reading the answer Hilarious, as if it came like, out of his yeah, head. Yeah, because he's a fuck, He's probably retarded. <laughs> <laughs> he actually... Yo, know, and the way he reads the questions is like, I know the answer already. Yeah, you were reading the answer. And then he says it to you when no one knows it. They'd be like, come on, guys. Right. Like, <laughs> His like, job is to be a condescending douche. Like, yeah. everyone should know this. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's, and the whole point of Jeopardy is the questions are hard, I think. Right? Like, it's hard to win. And he's like, come on, guys. Like, you should be knowing all these answers. I like, don't think in a typical Je- – I've never been, a, like, a Jeopardy. It means nothing to me. But in a typical game of Jeopardy, I can maybe get one right. Maybe. Good thing Sid's not here. What? Good thing Sid's oh, not Sid's good at Jeopardy? He, well, I don't know if he's good at it, but he's a Jeopardy fanatic. Oh, well, good thing we it's got rid of him. <laughs> why would I want to hear about how great Jeopardy is? <laughs> it's exactly why we needed to get rid of him. Yeah, we're trying to get back to Family Feud. <laughs> yeah, so the this, trashy shows. <laughs> the Family Feud episode I saw, though. So the question was, uh, some politicians uh, are in the White House. Other politicians belong. Oh, yeah, you hear that? There's there's something that come, There's audio coming out. Yeah, I still have the thing going. Oh. Uh. Uh, my bad. It's, it's distracting me. My bad. My right, turn. Is it distracting you or no? Uh, I mean, sure. <laughs> my what bad. the fuck, Tech? <laughs> <laughs> my bad. But anyway, so the question Way was like, ruin some it. politicians. Well, I, you had audio playing. <laughs> Fucking some politicians are in the are in the White House. Other politicians belong in the blank house. And the guy, so like you could say like the big house or jail just make house, you know whatever it's jail house. house but yeah, so house. then this guy, <laughs> like, has a lapse of thought. And just repeats White House, and Steve Harvey went on like like a good seven minutes of just about how this was the dumbest answer he's ever heard in his life. He's like, "Are you kidding me?" <laughs> he goes to the audience, "Listen, some politicians are in the White House. Other politicians belong in the White House." And then everyone goes crazy, <laughs> and then he starts singing a song. <laughs> some politicians in the White House. Other politicians belong in the White House. Yeah, can oh! you see if you can find this? Yo, fi- yo. Oh, I could definitely find it. And him. they're like, and he's like, yo, what are you do-? Like, he's basically like, are you dumb? Like, this is the dumbest answer I ever heard. And he's just fucking, <laughs> yo, it's like a, oh my God. It was like a con, it just, and then, yo, his uncle on the, on the, his family has the same exact laugh as Steve Harvey. And they go back and <laughs> forth doing the laugh. Right. Steve Harvey goes, ah, ah, Then the uncle's like, ah, ah, And then they're just, yo, oh my God. I was <laughs> hoping I never had to watch this again. Oh, you've seen this a million times? Uh-uh. It's just hard to watch. We saw it one time the other night. Oh, okay. And that's what I had, was, that's why it's fresh in my brain. They belong in the White House. No, oh, and he fucking sells it. Clear the board, Q. Uh, some politicians belong in the White House, others belong in the blank house. Well, Steve, if they're good, they belong in the White House. People like that. Yeah, they're like that, the question. Uh-huh. <laughs> hey, Jamie, what's up? I might not get you, but I bet this ain't up there. <laughs> Some politicians belong in the White House, others belong in the White House. <laughs> I don't think he understands why, why he's making fun of him yet. Oh, they're trying to trick me. Listen to me. Some politicians belong in the White House, others belong. In the White House! That's so damn funny! That's a good ass answer! Oh! 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 Oh, this fucker, we're fucking retarded. 
You believe this fucking ring? <laughs> that, <laughs> that's what he's basically <laughs> saying. <laughs> He, be, he, he just said, yeah, I wasn't even in a good mood till you just said that. Now I'm fucking, I'm, I'm vibing right now. <laughs> well, you need an answer. Yes. That ain't really an answer. You need an answer. Yes. That's really a question. Yes. I'm gonna answer the question. With a question. Yes. <laughs> Some politicians belong yes. in the White House. Yes. Others belong yes. in the White House. Yes. <laughs> I would love to be followed around by people who just said yes like that. <laughs> right, every time you had a, good, like oh a point. God. Can you imagine how much fun that would be? Can I get the receipt? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> would you like paper or plastic? <laughs> paper. Yes. <laughs> He's still going, dude. He's still going. Well, he's killing, you know. The audience is with him. Oh, I know, and he's a he's a stand up, so yeah. he's gonna go to well once once yo. Know, that's I think that's the thing with him though. Once he hears a dumb answer, he turn he goes into stand up mode. Yeah, I'm like, not he's just, um in terms of like I I I know other comics who are so good at this. I'm not, but sometimes like comics they can just like find a button. And the audience is laughing mm -hmm. at it, and like they just keep fucking pressing it, and the yeah. audience just keeps like, yeah. like they dig into this hole, and like the audience just loves the joke, and like they can kind of keep replaying the card, replaying yeah, the card, exactly, and like yeah. it just builds and builds, yeah. Nah, it's fucking. And the thing is though, like the dude is standing right there, and he just made a mistake, and he's probably realizing like, oh fuck, right. I just repeated the White House, and he didn't even know that for a long time, and you're just sitting there like, yo, this is the dumbest dude I ever <laughs> seen. And then he just looks at you laughing, and then he just goes to the audience, and he's like, can you believe how dumb this guy is? And the audience is just like, yeah, he's fucking <laughs> dumb as fuck. And you're just sitting there like laughing, like, ah, what else how are big, you going to do? Like, how big do you actually think the studio is for, oh. like, the studio audience for, uh, for Family Feud? I used to think 50? that they were big. You think it's just 50 people? Yeah, I think it's like 50 people. I used people. to think it was big until like I started watching a lot more of it, and I realized I think it's a lot smaller. How Maybe much there's... Food do you watch? I watch a lot of Game Show Network. Why? I don't that's know. That's just your jam. I love it. All right. I love, like, that's such a stoner thing <laughs> to be able to smoke weed and but, really vibe with something like yeah. Animal Planet or, in your case, just Game Show. You know what's funny? I was going to say, no, I think it started before smoking weed. Okay. But I think I would be wrong. I think, like, I started smoking weed like ninth grade like beginning of high school where i started like smoking it like like regularly i didn't smoke actually i didn't smoke i smoked it once in the summer and then it just started regularly like in ninth grade and i think that's maybe when my game show network yeah kicked, so it, like kind of because you smoked weed you yeah, started i think yeah. so i yeah, think so just, like that artistic thing you just locked <laughs> yeah. into it and you're like i love game shows that's why i knew all every single thing i was spitting out i right. just happened to know is there any game show that you think because you've watched so many game shows you'd be particularly good at? Nope. No. No. There and I and I think I know good I know well enough that if you think you're you're good at it you're you're wrong. You're what? But except for one guy and they did a documentary on him. So the one uh I think it's the not the price is right. The one that you come up and you have to guess the price and if you're closest, is that price is right? Yeah. That's come on price, down. That's price, price is right. Right. Because yeah. what's the one that that Jeff? I mean, um, what's the one that Wayne Brady? <laughs> what's the one that Wayne Brady does? And I, then the one that Drew Carey does. That's a, the same no, one. No, Drew Carey's is the Price is Right. Let's make Wayne, a deal. Wayne Brady is. Uh, I've never watched it, but yeah. so I think he does. Let's make a deal. So it's the Price is Right. This guy watched so much, so much Price is Right that he memorized the prices of all the things because he realized they would recycle items. Right. And then he would go and you, every single contestant signs up to be like part of it, but they only pick a handful of people. Right. And he would go and sign up everyone. They never would pick them, but he would be in the audience. And it's not against the rules for audience members to yell out numbers because they always do. Right. So then all of a sudden he'd be in there. And the thing would come up, and they're like, everyone's yelling, 900, blah, blah. And he'd be like, 678. <laughs> and then someone would look back, and he'd be like, All right, 678. Boom, on the money. Oh, so people figured and then, out then that the he knew. So then what would happen was that, yeah. I think it was Bob Barker. It might have been Bob Barker at the time. Fucking, he started knowing the guy's name because he was there every every episode almost or every right. week or something and then people would just make their own guesses and he would shout out a number and, and then he would look at the contestant he's like yo 
really? You're not going to listen to his right. suggestion? And they're like, what? And then all of a sudden they Bob, would. Bob they, Barker knew. Yeah, he would be like, yo, because there's, there's no way to cheat it. You right. just he just knows it by memory. Right. It's not cheating really. How yeah. come more people don't have the Bob Barker style microphone? I feel like <laughs> he, he really mic. rocked that thing mic. out well. It's a good mic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The long that long thing. One. It's almost like the Coella Devel yeah, cigarette exactly. smoking. There's like a flavor. Yeah, because you could hold it way down here, and it's like. Also, how fucking funny was Bob Barker and Happy Gilmore? Awesome. When he fucked him up. Yeah, yeah. That fight <laughs> yeah. between uh, Billy Madison. That's good. And, uh, that was good. All right. Also. Oh, excuse me. Can we? I wish Tech didn't walk out just now because <laughs> I would have had him pull us up. I'll pull it up. I think Chubby Drew Carey is better looking than new thin Drew Carey. Like blonde haired Drew Carey? I, he, just, I think you got. The Drew Carey that I remember from the TV show versus. Uh, versus then? How about yeah. that? Yeah. Well, he looks fucking like he's dying in this picture. All right, let's see if we can get some better. I don't think I've watched a single episode. So, okay, there uh, you go. Perfect example. He looks a little like um, Tom Arnold here. Yeah. Here he looks like um, Patton Oswalt. He looks good when he's medium fat. When he's full schlubby fat, that this doesn't work for weird. him. That's but Now he looks like... Um, that's like deflated look. Yeah. Deflated. Yeah. You know what's interesting about being fat is that there's a certain amount of chubby that you can be that makes you look young. That's Michael whereas, Moore right there. You mean on the left? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not bad. But there's a certain amount of like chubby that you can be that um it because it almost like you're, you're um like it extends your face so like your face looks like Fuller. younger. Yeah. Whereas when yeah, you all I of a sudden you that. become skinny, there's more mm -hmm. wrinkles and you look mm -hmm. way older. I can yeah. definitely see that. Yeah. Here's a good Drew Carey. That's a handsome Drew Carey. Well, that's like the perfect when um, there's like a, a like TV fat where you're not a skinny person, but you're good looking for a chunky guy. Yeah. Oh, here we go. That's perfect. They're good. They're weird. Yeah. Also, he rocked. He, he looks um, like he's in fucking U2 there. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> he also rocked like perfect glasses to kind of have an authentic oh, yeah. him look. Yeah. It's very absolutely. Dilberty. Yeah, exactly. Hey, what That's was the, perfect. What's her name? The like the ch the hot chick in that. I remember the kid. I thought was, was she so in was she in Kramer? Hot. I mean, no, not she Kramer. Was, she was later in. Um, she was the wife in. Uh, in Scrubs. And then, oh, and, that's right. And Scrubs. then she, she's still in like random si that's sitcoms. Right. Like she's one of these people that's just sitcoms forever. But can we pull up whatever her name is and then look at her sure. from Drew Carey? Because I remember as a kid thinking she was like Frazier, dude. I can't believe I called Frazier Kramer. She was in. Fra oh, I never saw <laughs> Frazier. No, come nah. on. Yo, see, I, you know what's weird? I was Game Show Network and like late night sitcom. I watched Frazier. Friends, right. Drew Carey. Like, I watch all those sitcoms. I watch Drew Carey, Never Friends, Never Frasier. Never Frasier? Yo, Frasier? Frasier's good. Dude. He, did a, he did a, he was a radio show. Um, He did a radio show on the show. Like right. uh, He was like a radio host, which yeah, was like kind of interesting. The psycholo uh, psychologist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You got to do IMDb. Oh, yeah, yeah. But now do her young or in, and then her hot. Because now it looks like she's got some work done, which isn't quite flowing. Yeah, just put young. Yeah, it's already there. Young, yeah. No, I and mean, when she was on Scrubs, for sure, she was definitely like the sex, like I don't know, sex she's, appeal. But she's not that great looking, actually, though. Nah, she appeals to me. She's a, like, yeah, it's like a cutie thing. Yeah, like this. Yeah, well. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It, it, it appealed to me then, and I could still see it. It's like uh, something you could wake up to every morning. I guess so. You know what else? I, I of all like the the shows, the person who I just like fucking smoke show was a Vongole Lily. I don't Lost. know. Wait, who? Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't. Not I don't know why now. Cause like she she's the same person. She's just as hot as she was. She's aged really well. No, it's with an E. But I remember like when Lost was on, I would Google pictures and jerk off to her all the time. Like nice. uh, she was like. And oh yeah, she was a smoke. Show. Oh yeah, I could say because you yeah, know why she looks like uh, almost like a dominatrix type. Like I, not not really dominatrix, but she looks tough. You know what I think is I, I would maybe say it's the haircut. <laughs> the, um, I, I my top three like Hollywood, just fucking and they're like not smoke shows. Pass me a beer. No. 
<laughs> <laughs> he doesn't want you drinking the Budweisers. Um, who was the chick from uh, uh, from Grandma's Boy who was also in uh, um, the Freaks and Geeks? Oh, fuck. That chick. You're, yeah, free, that's going back a little too far. I don't have a good memory on Freaks and Geeks. You gotta, I know, fuck it. Type in Grandma's Boy. <sighs> I Remember love Grandma's chick? boy, and I know I that, can't picture yeah, her. Yeah, she though. had blonde hair. And yeah, that. I can't picture. Her. It's the girl, obviously the girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I can't picture her. Linda Is Candelini. It? That's so her. She was not good looking in Freaks and Geeks, but everything since then. No, she. she but is, she was she's like gorgeous. She's always like the hot like uh, rebels little sister. In like movies where like the one older sister's the cheerleader dude, and Linda, she's like and she's like the rebel little right. sister. I guess I like the do Linda Candelini hot. Well, she's pretty hot. She she's already pretty hot. Hot dog water? No, yeah, she's definitely hot. Yeah, usually oh, I like sure. brunettes, but dude. her with the blonde hair is like Oh, no. look at that one on the left. Like she's that. smoke show, yeah. for sure. No, she's hot. And no one has anything to say. But she, yeah, because she's fucking hot. Doesn't she? She plays a lot of the comedic roles, though, right? She's not very serious. Yeah, she plays kind of easygoing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She played uh, Velma in Scooby Doo. Okay. All right. There's, oh, with the red hair. That uh, chick. No, no, that's. You the just other saw a one. picture and then said that you don't know what the no, fuck. No, you I never do. seen. No, you just saw a picture right there on Google. No, and now he's gonna claim movie. like he saw it. You never watched the movie. But you don't know the reference. I do know. You the didn't reference. remember What's, it, so you saw the, that picture. Isn't that the red hair? Um, <laughs> no, it is Velma. Yo, just scroll High down skirt. back to the picture. No, you saw. Death, just scroll death, back down to the picture. Me. All right, just scroll back to the down to the picture you saw. There it is, right there. Yeah, <laughs> See with the yeah, orange. That's what I was saying. The redhead one with the glasses. <laughs> that's Daphne. She was Daphne. No, she was fucking Velma. Oh, Velma. That's right. The wrong name. We're yeah, saying the wrong yeah, name. No, you know what I'm thinking of? Dar- Darla. Dar- What's that comic? Oh, you know, you don't know comics. Oh, I know you're talking about. She's one of those people that to me is so much hotter, <laughs> yeah. older than she. No, like. no, I'm talking about a comic strip. Oh, I thought you were talking about um, what's her name? Uh, the comedian who she's not that funny, but now she's really hot. Just Zoe Deschanel? No, 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 no. Um, she reminds me of her a little bit. That's I right. know what you're talking about. The one that killed Trump, like killed the fake Trump and beheaded no. him. No. Kathy, yeah, Kathy Griffin? Griffin. No, no, I said Darla. I Darla even, is a comic strip from the I Sunday even call her, Um, the, Not She Darla, was in a... But... Uh, oh, my God. This is going to drive me fucking nuts. Give me a second. Because I'll think of a movie. What was... Uh, Jesus Christ Superstar? IMDb Mystery Men. She was in that okay. movie. She was the chick in that movie with the dead guy. Oh, the, the oh, the, the the hot, like not hot chick. Yes, mystery one? I, know exactly mystery I know exactly what you're talking about. I know exactly talking about. She's Men, like IMDb. She's like really like. Uh, I remember that as being a funny movie. Oh no, I'm thinking of the same, a different person. Janine Garofalo. Garofalo. Yeah. No, I'm she thinking of a different person. She is so much hotter, older. She got like a thin heroin look, as in a, like oh, older. Yeah. Oh, Back okay. Then, there was nothing to me. She was unappealing, yeah, but now yeah. Yeah. she's like she got hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's got like an edge to her oh, now. Oh yeah, hell yeah. I could definitely look. Ed Norton cost me, cost her Fight Club. Oh, I can't see her being in Fight Club. That chick who played Darla was perfect. Or what was the name? Yeah, you're right. She Marla. looks like no. She looks like the comic that I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She does. Yeah. You're talking about that stupid yeah, well, show. Like, it wasn't no, a no, comic, it's a comic it a strip. Show. No, no, it's a comic. Yeah, it was a show, but it was a about comic that strip. Depressed fucking yes. high school girl. It started off as a comic and it's in the paper, just like the Peanuts did. Well, yeah. I think she was Dar- in the, Darla. I think they did a. Darla show on Comedy Central. Oh, that that's from was... the Little Rascals. <laughs> no, it's from Finding Nemo. Uh, the Little Rascals too, Darla. You are so beautiful to me. I'm surprised they haven't done a remake Can't of the Little see? Rascals. They did. They definitely really? Did. Yeah. yeah absolutely, they did. With no, Joe no, no, no. They did. They did a um uh, a deep fake with Brendan Schaub. Oh, on, that sounds on Little amazing. Rascals. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that sounds so good. <laughs> it's so that good. Up? That it's sounds so, so good. good. It's so good. Yeah, that's it right there. Right with the, there. with the, yeah, that's it. What's her name? Dharma. Daria. Daria. There we go. I oh. think the Daria. She that... looks like uh, Janine Gar- Garoppolo, though, like or Garofalo, whatever. Did they do a Daria on Comedy Central? I never they, watched yes, it. Yes, a show. Yes. I think Janine Garofalo is the the voice. Maybe I think so. That'd yeah. be hilarious. That's a good. That would be a good connection. Not a small world, but I wonder what you would call that. 
you know like what? A small. Like, I was shitting on Sid, but I do feel like this podcast needs him. <laughs> I just gotta get into my groove. Nah, yeah, he's being real quiet. Tech's being real quiet tonight. <laughs> I got some stuff to bring up. Yeah, why? Be- um, and I had no idea. I, I was like, oh yeah, so I'm gonna order food. pizza, and he's like, oh yeah, I got food. And but I was we like, ended oh, up not Robbie ordering. gets here. Yeah. And, you oh, know, and then I didn't want it. You didn't want it. Like, oh, I'm stuck. And I was like, fuck. Now I got a big ass pizza, but I'm sure I'll find somewhere to put it. Yeah, in your stomach. <laughs> you piece How of big shit. of a pizza did you order? The biggest pizza they got. From a where? Slice pie? Nah. Uh, from Fairfield Pizza. Oh, I'm Ooh, not familiar good. with Fairfield they're really Pizza. It's good. right yeah. on uh, Atlantic yeah. Street downtown near the so mall. So where is this pizza that you ordered? I just ordered it like 10 minutes ago. Oh, okay. I'm very indecisive when it comes to ordering things on Dude, menus. one time we sat here once for an hour and a half, and then we both fell asleep and never ate. That's just a being stoned. <laughs> yeah, I do that shit a lot. Yeah. If my just, fat fuckery will override my stonery, yeah. then I'll get it done. If you just forget about it, you stop being hungry. No, no, I'm all right, but thank you. I gotta drive home tonight. I figured, but all right. But uh, yeah, that's a 18 inch pizza, the that's biggest slice, one in Stanford. No, slice pies are 20, but 18 inch is the biggest pie, large pie you can get. You get any toppings, or you just went straight up. Plain? I got five toppings. Oh, where'd you go? Mita. Uh. You know what a pizza is? It I got like a meat pizza. That's it. All the meat. I figured that out all, all by myself. <laughs> <laughs> Sausage. It's a meat. It's a pizza. Right. Yo, I seen a sign today yep. that was a restaurant, and it said a pizza and pasta with it uh yeah, capitalized you never, a pizza. You, you and never pasta. Heard, you never seen that? No. It's a pizza. <laughs> I never. No, a pizza. Okay, yeah, you, there you pronounce it a pizza. pizza. It was a capital That's A New Haven pizza style. with no k- space. A pizza and pasta. That's a. I don't get it. That's how the sign was the restaurant, and it served a pizza. Like A P I Z Z A as one word. A pizza and pasta. That's New Haven. That's what they call New Haven. It was in New Haven. Or it was like it was like Guilford or Brantford. That's all they call it up there. It's it was, a, it's, it's a, they call it a pizza. No, they call it a pizza. It a pizza? Yeah. They call it a pizza. <laughs> yes, exactly. Now you're getting it. Now you're getting it. A pizza, my So, like, yo, I'm going to order I'm a pizza. I'm listen. I hear you, dude. I'm going to order a pizza. I'm very... You want a pizza? What's wrong with pizza? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with No, it's because you know you can even say za now. We, everything yeah, they get. everyone loves the fucking za. Hey, let's get some za. So, oh, we just talked about yeah, that. Yeah, so we're, we're thinking about za and soda. We're just gonna call it the za. What? The za da. What is za, that? Pizza za and soda da. The za and da. Oh, if you're getting a pizza and a soda. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna get, get a za and da. I yeah, got some that zada. from somewhere. We didn't make. I didn't make you know that what? up. I'm gonna yeah, put forward right. <laughs> some words don't need to be reworked. Pizza was perfect. It's fine. It's Leave it the fuck alone. I don't want to hear some za. Pizza's a, a perfect word. How often do you have words that have both a p and a z in it? It Never. sounds good. It's fun to say. Well, I People know, I know exactly one. what the fuck one. you're talking about. My piazza. That's not a word. But why do you like Mike Piazza so much? Because it sounds like pizza. Because it sounds like fucking, fucking pizza. Right. So why would you ruin a perfectly good word like pizza to shorten it with za? I don't get a lot I of opportunities it. for a p and a za. That's also what makes it sound so. It's like e a e a. You know that sounds good. It's to like say prosciutto. Pizza. I agree hundred percent. I it's actually like hate za. But I say it sometimes. You're right? you're too cool to say the word fucking pizza. <laughs> exactly. That's how cool you are. It's almost <laughs> pig Latin. What the, a pizza. A pizza? A pizza a pizza fucking sounds all a pizza's pig dumb Latin, than just basically, regular pizza. right? Pig Latin's just you take the last letter of the word and put it in the front of it. I don't know. No, 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 no. Yeah, but you have to you gotta get rid of it. That's why maybe they get a pizza. A pizza. No, no, no. They did that pig because Latin. they're fucking greasy Italians. I'm thinking, you remember gibberish? In New Haven. Remember gibberish? Yeah, but I don't know what the fuck that is. You would it's not a classific it's actually a You would take the language. first letter all right. and add a edda. So if it was fuck, I only know how to say bad words. So if it's fuck, right? You say feta, because it's you add that f with the eta, and then you put a g for the end of it. So it'd be feta guck. Well, what does that accomplish? I don't know, but it was a language that <laughs> and when I was in fifth so grade, those fucking Russians. When I was can't in fifth us. grade, no, when I was in fifth grade, there used to be a group of girls, and they would speak to each other in gibberish. It sounds annoying. No, yeah, they had but a learning then, disability. No, no, but they, then no one could no. It it's was like hard to understand. Just slow. <laughs> they were just retarded. Dude, we were fucking ten years old. Dude. I was playing kickball, and there'd be a group of girls, and they would speak to each other in gibberish. That's a, the beginning signs you, of a the mental disability. I've ever seen. We had this uh, my freshman year. We had this rabbi, and the guy was like a little bit of a goofball. One of the funniest things he would do, <laughs> like a Shane Gillis goofball. No, I not, mean a big, not, uh, like uh, not a big chain goes. I mean a big J Koopa. That's what he said. No, not quite like that, but like. But they were calling. He was like an an, He was kind of like an animated 
bald fat guy and he had a lot of energy and like a little bit of rage in him but one of his stunts would be like if someone was doing something stupid he would walk into like repeatedly walk into the wall like oh look there's a wall there oh look there's a wall there this is you look there's a wall i'm walking into a look there's a wall here Damn. and, and <laughs> there was this kid in our class there was this program for kids that were like a little bit learning disabled and sometimes they would take the learning disabled kids and they would put them into like some of the normal classes. Yeah, they would integrate them. Into they would the integrate them. And at one, I remember once he would go the kid with the kid. It was this is all good. We're sitting in the class, and the rabbi at one point went. I don't know what the kid did, but the rabbi went like the Sesame Street. He goes, one of these things is not like the you glasser. You're not like the others. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> He broke down. He was just like, "Fuck it." He said that to the fucking slow kid. Oh my god! There's someone that's not like the other. You, it's you, Glasser. <laughs> that be yo. What do you do after that? And you're sitting there. You're like, but I'm, telling, I'm in Glasser. The, in the middle of class, I'll, I'll act it out for you because it was just so funny. He'd be like in the middle of doing something, and then something would happen. He would go. Oh look, there's a wall there! Oh, <laughs> oh look, my there's god! A wall. Oh look! <laughs> he would really do that. He'd do it over oh and over. Oh my god! It was so funny. For the people listening, <laughs> he would walk into a he wall. He would almost take a and shutdown. say there was a wall there <laughs> as he was hitting the wall. <laughs> and then one other, one other funny stunt that he used to pull was every once in a while, like we used to have a fifteen minute. This is minute Jewish break. school. This is Jewish school. Yeah. <laughs> what do well, you call it? Uh, yeshiva. Yeshiva? Yeah, Yeshiva. The Yeshiva convention? What? Oh, that's the Geneva convention. <laughs> Shiva? I thought that was some, uh, like, Indian. Shiva is a thing. Indian, right? Hintal- no. That's Hintal- Hintal- yeah. that's a, that was the, another big thing was, there's like, if you were evil, he would go, there's still a Pintaliyid in you, Ooh. like which meant a little bit of Jew. Ooh. Like, you'll be okay, we can salvage you. There's a little Jew in you. There's what the real Jew would say left? He would go, he'd go, yeah, yeah, to one of the kids, he'd go, yeah, yeah, I forget, I forget what his rant would be, but at one point he'd be go. You're a bad kid, but there's a pintaliid. There's a little. <laughs> so there's, there's a pintaliid. There's, there's, there's still a little, little hope, in and you. we're gonna we're gonna ignite <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, we're, we're gonna get it out. <laughs> oh, Dude, no. yo, remember, yo, remember? I don't know if you remember when you were saying. I can't remember if it was on podcast yeah. how you were saying that when uh, maybe when Jewish uh, people like age. Were you saying that before? Uh-huh. That they hit like a certain point where they just look Jewish all of a sudden. Oh no, I was saying that about myself. You, you work so <laughs> hard. Like I've shaved my head. I've done everything I can. Maybe it's once <laughs> that 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 Jew ignites, it uh, starts start going. Lo- yeah, yeah, it starts going you through. Start aging poorly. And then you're like, oh fuck, it ignited. <laughs> and you start complaining about other uh, shit you never complained about before. <laughs> yeah. All of a sudden, your back hurts. Your stomach's not and working. Your rabbi is proud now. <laughs> He's very proud. And you're very concerned over prices. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little Jew fuse. Yeah, there's a little panetna. You got a little panetna? Pintaliid. Oh, pintaliid. Wait, Some... wait, how does it end with a D? Um, it's pintle, two it's pintle, two different words. Pintle, it's pintle, pintle. And then like it's actually not Hebrew, it's Yiddish. I think that's a Yiddish term. Yeah, hell yeah. Yiddish is crazy. Talk. Yiddish is a weird fucking language. Yeah, that's some but crazy. But some of like some of the Yiddish words have so like I don't know a lot of Yiddish, but some of the words have a lot of flavor to it. You want that? Mm-hmm. Can you I'm speak good. a little Yiddish? No, but like there <laughs> there are certain words. But that... do you know any of it or no? Um, like I mean, I'm just asking. No, actually, I couldn't. Can you I speak couldn't like tell no? you a sentence nah, in Yiddish, but wondering. there are like random words that. You know, you would use just because, like, they're great yeah. adjectives. So tell me the pentel. What is it? Pentel. Pentelied. Plen- pentelied. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Pentelied. It, it, it just Google, so you got. Know, so Google, you you got a pentelied. Google. Yeah, I still got it. Google great <laughs> Yiddish words. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Hell yeah. Like, I can I tell you a great Yiddish word. Yeah. Recently, yeah. I bought I bought oh. mushrooms, nice. and the mushrooms I got. Like, usually, as of late, I found when I get mushrooms, they're kind of like the thin ones with the cap. Mm-hmm. First time I ever did mushrooms, they had, like, really thick stems, right? Okay, so it's like, those are a little... I think it was a different kind, but... I, I don't know. There, there's some kind that are yeah. called penis envy. Okay. And those are the ones that that um that smart guy, uh, McKinnon, okay. McKenna used to take. Wait, and th- that's the thin one or the no, thick ones? No, it's a ones? fat stem yeah, with a small like a cap. Yeah, it's like a real, real fat, fat stem. stem with a smaller cap. It's like a dick. More you of know, a dick. I didn't notice that the caps were because Maybe the not caps small. fit the thing. But, no, they do fit the thing, but, but they, it's I guess not they like it, it, it's a totally different thing to like the thin stemmed where the cap, cap is the prominent. Like the cap is, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like a, a totally different thing. So, anyways, because in those ones, people say that the caps are more potent, but in reality, stems are always more potent. 
Oh, I never heard that. So that's why maybe the fast stems make sense. Uh, anyway, the first time I did mushrooms, it had the fat stems. Every time since then, I was always getting like the thin stuff and stuff. And then mm-hmm. one time I was buying mushrooms and the guy had the fat stems. And I was like, I got it. it, it there's only one way to describe this. It's with a mm-hmm. Yiddish word. And I'm going to teach you the Yiddish okay, word. Oh, yeah. And I was like, this is Meyerdick. Meyerdick? Meyerdick. M- with a W in there? Meyerdick? I would spell it. Meyerdick? I, I, I would spell it M O R. More. Okay. Maybe E D I C K. Okay. Maybe that's the way so I, say I, I probably spell it. But you got you got to roll your R. You really got to you got to say it. You got to say Sounds it with flavor. Good. I like it. Meyerdick. 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 You're saying it too Italian. I did. I can't. means like. I wish I knew Italian. I can't even quite. You'd have to Google it. I don't even know how to define it, but. More dick means like it's it, like now. More, more, like, so when you say normal, more dick, more dick, more dick, more dick. More dick. Okay, then I guess I, just more, more dick. dick. Okay, so then I can get that. <laughs> more, more dick. More dick. <laughs> more. But so you say it's more dick and don't say it so it doesn't sound like that. More dick. Right. No, yeah. I'm saying, but the Yiddish version is like make it. It doesn't sound. Like, dick. Yeah. More dick. More. More. I can't. I'm saying fucking. More. Muerta. I turned this way too Jewish. Let's change That's topics. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Bubkiss and schmuck. The bu- yeah, I like, those are great no, words. I've already seen my favorite one. What? Klutz. Klutz. Klutz is great. Um, uh, schmuck. My, schmuck is great. That's good. That's Bubkiss is fantastic. Bubkiss. Dude, yeah, remember, ta- remember, Bubkiss. remember the Rugrats? His grandpa always used to we drop Yiddish. We brought that up in a podcast we, before. His gran- yeah. But his grandpa used to... The, the, the Jewish grandpa, episode I mean, of the Rugrats. great grandpa. Nah, he was the... He was the great grandpa. No, he wasn't. The, he was the grandpa. Was he the grandpa? Yeah, because he was the... You fucking putzes! He was the, the, he was, the mom's dad? He was the mom's dad. Nah, he was the dad's dad. No, because that was Lou Pickles. Oh, yeah. No. The guy... Oh, the, yeah. Dumb Lou Pickles. The one that watches alien porn. He always porn. falls asleep. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He watched yeah. the alien porn. Um, yeah, that's the mom's dad. That's gotta be the mom's dad. It's the dad. granddad. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, and the... Yeah. the, the, the that's Jewish not couple. that's not the great grand that's not the great nah because who else is there that could be the 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 grandfather's dad nah because the grandpa <laughs> because they call him fucking grandpa yeah and he fucking drops the yiddish yeah and then he fought the fucking other jewish guy remember the big uh i don't remember yo search rugrats grandpa God speaking yiddish he drops the yiddish you don't want to see these fucking you can leave that you got fucking so corpses many tabs right here <laughs> dude the ear thing is bugging me a lot of these people have low ears these people the are from. The looks like bad boy. <laughs> these people are from different parts of the country. You should not talk about them like that. I didn't say anything. I There's said they different are ears skull are low. definitions all no, over the country. Ears are low. You said it out of no. You had no, like reason to know that knowledge, and for some reason you had your that knowledge ears in your head. Low. Do you look like a corpse at the Republican National Convention? <laughs> yeah, that's the new one. The remix. <laughs> <laughs> I know these people care about me. I just know it. Yeah. I can't stand how you type with one hand. I it really because he holds me. the jewel too, so it, it handicaps him. Because he could also it, be using the thumb, but he's not. Because I can't. Slowest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, the Rugrats Passover episode. No, we're not going to get into that. All right, can I ask you, as a non-Jew, because Nickelodeon had a fair amount of like Jewisodes. Um, what do you guys th- like when when like Rugrats are doing fucking a Hanukkah special or a Passover thing? Are, 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 are you kind of thinking like what the fuck I is this I never thought or twice about it it was just whatever I'm just watching this I and think I just it was like, dope I, yeah I never it was I the just story watched, of Moses yeah. through Rugrats dude. yo no I just watched it <laughs> as like yo crazy. this is crazy it's and just, actually it's funny to say you say that because uh, I probably learned about that because right. of those cartoons where I would have never even known because we would live because there's so much Christmas shit it's almost weird as a kid like Adam yeah, Sandler's Hanukkah yeah. song captures it so well mm-hmm. But like when you're Jew, like I remember watching it, what stands out to me most. Maybe we even brought up on this podcast. It was that Sega Genesis commercial as a kid with Santa Claus. But you really <laughs> felt like you were missing out by not keeping Christmas. Hmm. You really feel it. Like yeah. you're like, well, we don't know because we we just celebrate yeah, Christmas. I never, kinda, yeah. I never even thought about it. But I had you know I went to uh, bar mitzvahs right. when I was growing up. I was invited to them. And I like, and I just, I just, I don't know. I never even thought twice about it, but I was never religious. Right. So I just was like, oh, I like my dad, go, my dad goes to church every Sunday, but not now, not now because of COVID. But ever since I can remember, he's been to church every Sunday. But you didn't go with him? I never went to church. That's cool. That you didn't impose and my, on you. Know, my mom went to Catholic school. Right. And doesn't go to church. Well, that's so, good. They didn't, they didn't impose it on you. Weird. Yeah, they did. And then, but 
Wait, I, I thought yeah. you were gonna find that you didn't even try rug no, no, yeah, You didn't that. even <laughs> you, like that. We that, started that. going over some some deep issues. <laughs> no, yeah, they no. don't have it. Oh, okay, because so you fine. just did rug rats no, Jewish. You gotta grandpa try rug rats grandfather. Yiddish. Grandpa speaking Yiddish. It's gonna come up as the. It's gonna come up as the what's it called? The loop pickles. No, he doesn't speak Yiddish. No, Grandpa. It is populated in that field like nine times over. Just put Rugrats Grandpa speaking Yiddish. That's all I want. Jewish. I hate speaking doing the wrong stuff again. Yeah, there's pictures of him. Look, he's got beautiful. Eyes yeah, he's white. beautiful. He's got no white in his eyes. I know, that's fucked and the up. world's biggest. Why, nose. why do you think they Because did that? they want to portray him as a beady eyed Jew. <laughs> it's that's definitely and they also I mean, the producers of these shows rape kids too you can't argue with dude oh, i'm look, telling you you can't argue with the those cartoons i mean the, the depictions though it's hard to argue with you that. know i'm almost surprised because that 90s cartoon block on nickelodeon legendarily good you've got rugrats you've got red and stimpy you've got real monsters hey arnold i didn't like but it was still there. It was fine. Yeah, it was uh, hey Arnold yeah, resonated like, yeah. with like us hey city kids. I don't <laughs> like Hey Arnold. Just, it it weirded me out that he wore a skirt. I couldn't tell if he was a guy or no, a girl. No, it was a long kinda... button up. No, yeah, it I was. I tuned out. I get that it was a long button up as a kid. I was you like, why is it? A... What the fuck's going <laughs> on Yo, how dare here? you, dude? You also had Doug. And he you made... had, Doug was um, amazing. Doug was good. But I'm almost surprised because you look at SpongeBob SquarePants now, and they've kept SpongeBob SquarePants going. That's on the forever. longest show. They still make new episodes. But I'm surprised that these other shows they didn't kind of keep on for. Like I'm, I'm almost surprised that they died out. Like they seem like they should have no, been they, evergreen. So Rugrats made, the, made went to the older kids. They made them older, and then once you go older, now no, nah, I think it, although they realized that the age group of those shows that they were trying to I think like they sell just it switched to what they were doing like we kind of aged out of nickelodeon, but nickelodeon the rugrats turned weird though teenagers they made the rugrats teenagers no show, i'm saying you know? it was like us we're like the block of 90s yeah. kids and we grew yeah. up on that nickelodeon shit oh, so which they was all amazing it. yeah i'm surprised that like the simpsons they didn't just keep that shit going and like the younger kids would have yeah. also grown up on yeah, it no, that makes they seem yeah, to like try saying. a different programming I think for it the was kids the, younger than us i and, think it was the age group because they knew we were already done we were already smoking weed and no but he's doing saying, bad no, no, things what he's no saying i'm just is, saying those shows no, were wait, so good what he's saying he doesn't I understand believe... why the younger generation didn't also watch those shows too like why no. didn't why didn't they carry Nickelodeon on? must have killed it killed them off yeah because yeah. no because that I makes bet, more sense i'm willing to bet <laughs> it was a cost thing that like a show like ren and stimpy is extremely expensive to produce oh instead of I'm having a to... bunch of dudes jump around and no nah, it was definitely cheap. social justice no reasons. because they all went they all went Real people on on cheap sets. Because those are those are if you watch the uh, old Nickelodeon the shows, <laughs> Stimpy, you can't play you can't play Ren and Stimpy nowadays. That's an adult show, but like, I don't even know why I liked Ren and Stimpy as much as I did as a kid. It but was, that was it was the shit. The underlining stories of those episodes of like the shows we watched, like Hey Powder Arnold and toes. well maybe not Doug, but like Hey Arnold and like you def Ren and Stimpy was definitely like not good for kids to watch. I think. And then they had to, like, change that. I don't know, dude. I think... I don't know. Dude, we grew weird. up on Ren and Stimpy oh, and, like, Rocco's so Modern cool. Life. Remember Rocco's Modern yeah, Life? of course. Like, and that was all weird as fuck. And I don't think I, I grew up, like, weird because of it. I just figured... I think you just know those things are, are things. And then, like... I don't know. Well, then they kept... Because the Bugs new Bunny shows, going. you watch the new shows with like kids. Okay, wait, that's another one that surprises me. Bugs Bunny, I watched. It, I remember it was Channel Eleven at the time, and more than anything, it was if you ended up with a snow day, you could spend the entire morning at home watching Looney Tunes. It was that unbelievable animation block, which, by the way, it started with Looney Tunes, then it went into Animaniacs, and then it mm -hmm. went into that the Batman animated series, which was incredible. Animaniacs, Animaniacs was amazing. Animaniacs. Show. That's Steven Spielberg. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Anyways, but Looney Tunes, when I was a kid, Bugs Bunny was hilarious. I love Bugs Bunny. Isn't it weird that they didn't keep Bugs Bunny go? Like, they've tried new variations on him, which weren't that good. Um, but, like, those old school Bugs Bunny cartoons that are basically go back as far as the 70s with Mel Blanc are fantastic. Even yeah. every once in a while, I pull them up now. Like, they're still fucking funny. I'm surprised that, like, this generation of kids, you could. 
give the those Bugs Bunny cartoons that we grew up with, which are not from our generation. They go back to yeah, fucking like, like 60s or, 60s or yeah, 70s, I think. 50s, well, Space maybe. Jam was great. But isn't that all, like, th- no, those I characters think... are so iconic. Why are, like, are they not, how have they not just made Looney Tunes shit forever? The, the characters yeah. are still around, but. Yeah. What I think is that, I think it's because it's TV, and now kids are off TV. And maybe, like, the iPads and all, like, the YouTube and no, all that. I'm saying even 10 years up. ago, they, I don't think they were really making but new 10 years ago, Looney Tunes. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. You gotta go with the times. All the new. I think like are, it's too. It's too slow. They want like uh, even though it doesn't yeah, seem exactly. like it's, it's too slow. slow. You mean to for kids? Yeah, nowadays, they don't care about yeah. like the they don't care about slow. the road runner. It's barbaric runner. to them. They're like the road like oh they painted a fake tunnel on this on the side of the mountain. You're kids saying, are too like, smart. What the, doesn't hold up. Yeah, they're yeah, too they're smart like, nowadays. Yeah, yeah, I think it's just too. TV slow. TV was new back then, and even to us, we would it was sit new. down and watch. But they got in. Oh, it was internet. That's why, because of the internet. internet and the iPads. Yeah. So they can just get YouTube and it was on internet. demand, and they're not going to sit there and watch a, a Looney Tunes show. I don't know. I feel like it's different. I wish it wasn't different. I so I, we, go with the I got lucky that I grew up where there was no internet until I was a little bit too young to have internet. Because when was like internet prominent? Like early two right thousands. I remember having internet sixth, seventh, and eighth grade, and it was dial up, and it was slow. But my parents were out of the house most nights, and I was just what looking as much those? tits as I could. What year That's is that? all I would do all night, dude. The late 90s? Uh, when, I mean, I graduated. I, 9-11 was when I was in eighth grade, so that's 2001. And I was in sixth grade. What? I'm older 2001, than 2001, yeah. Well, you were just poorer than me, so you didn't have internet. In the no, house. I got internet in sixth grade. Oh, I'm saying And you I got had... internet in eighth grade, so that's no, the same year. No, I had like year. seventh, eighth grade. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. I, I, I'm saying I got it the same year as you i was just a little younger i remember all That's night yeah. and i didn't i wasn't even jerking off then <laughs> but i would just spend all night from the time that my parents weren't home till they showed up looking at tits on the internet yeah. <laughs> and the only thing you could look at was there were like endless sites with like the preview so you would just click <laughs> oh, through the yeah, preview yeah, yeah, yeah. and there was never full nudity because it was the preview so you were just looking at tits but I was in eighth grade, and if you could look at tits in the internet, that's all I was going to do. Did you have a finding porn phase where you were finding porn? What or do you finding mean? porn in the woods or finding no, porn? No, no. <laughs> Dude, the first porn, that, first porns that I ever saw. Can I just say, do you know how much AIDS has to be on woods porn? Like, do you know how many people must have jerked off onto those pages that when you find it, that's and, now I think and about horny, it. back then I didn't. Horny it's, kid brain, you're like, I don't care. That's fucking a nude chick. You get, there yeah. could be you only cancer get this, on that. It definitely yeah. was. You it only could be get, radioactive. Yeah. You only I'm get jerking to off see, to it. Yeah, you only get to see three pictures because all of them are stuck together some, for some the reason. The grossest thing, <laughs> <laughs> we don't have to go it too could be deep the rain. Into that. That's a homeless problem. <laughs> it could be the rain. Maybe that's the rain got the pages stuck together. There was also, I don't know if you guys did this, it seems to be a little bit universal, but like, like someone getting their hands on porn and just being so horny that you're like, I'll jerk off in front of you. Like, I don't care. I'm looking at the porn, like the fact that you're here or not here. Nah, it's never that happened. Was not nah. part of the only thing that I came close to that was watching uh, Cinemax at late night. Yeah, at someone's house because yeah. they had Cinemax. Yeah, you turn like, it on, you're like, yo, there's tits right in there, like fucking. They're like, I, they don't show that they're fucking, but you like, I guess uh, they probably are fucking. You know I got I and you could watch it. With? Yeah. I remember at one point my parents had like HBO or whatever, and like they they password blocked it, and right away we learned what the password was. <laughs> yeah. But I remember I used to come home Thursday nights from Yeshiva, <laughs> 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 and Thursday nights were the nights that they would have um, on HBO real sex, and yeah. then. Whatever was on after real sex that was also basically porn. Yeah. And I remember downstairs, my parents would go to sleep. I don't know. Let's just say it was on at 11 p.m. or 12 a.m. Let's just say it was yeah. one of those two yeah. times. My parents would be asleep, and I would put it on that TV, and I would just jerk off on the couch. <laughs> but, like, you could walk downstairs. It's like an open floor plan <laughs> yeah. and just see it. And, like, I always just, in my head, I'm just fucking dumb TV. So how- I just... I just always assumed if someone woke up, I would just pretend like I was asleep on the couch and it was just on. So how? But many, that would have yeah. never have worked. Yeah. It never. Yeah. So how many times do you think they came down and then turned saw around? Saw that that was it. never. Walked. No, they're not. <laughs> no, no, no. They're They'd not, be screaming that way. right away. The other thing that was nice with my dad, you know, Pat, now he's got like a CPAP machine, but he was always the world's loudest snorer, and that was good for so late can... at night sneaking around because you could hear him through the whole house. So like. You knew he was a sl- like yeah. I mean, through the entire house. <laughs> you hear this fat fuck snoring. Like <laughs> it would be like you creaking on whatever and just yeah. the loud. I yeah. So then, as soon as that stopped, 
Well, you would like you could kind of gauge. All right, there must be, but we got to scatter. Was that sleep scatter. apnea? Yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 that's dangerous. Yeah. You but would know fun, when he fun. woke up. It was up. fun though. You know when he woke up. Yeah, though. you knew when he woke up. It was like yeah. the fucking. Uh, there's a game, a uh, board game, uh, like the guy, uh, old guy. Don't wake the, daddy. Don't wake him up, right? Yeah. 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 I don't know what the fuck that is. Don't wait. You can Google it. I never played the game, but I remember that it existed. And it's like a bunch of like different things that could wake him up. You might trip on something and like, and the whole thing is just at the end you slingshot. You know what always seemed like the (laughs) coolest board game? I never played it and it never worked was Mousetrap. I never actually, I don't think I ever played it. Everyone, every time you tried to set it up, someone had a missing piece or (laughs) you can never quite set up the traps, but conceptually it looked like the coolest fucking game. On a commercial. Like if you were to, yeah, if you were to watch a commercial of Mousetrap. What the fuck is this? Don't wake daddy. I remember this. Yeah. Do you remember right there, it was that like, one with the green background? Wake. Don't. Yeah, that's it. Too. Yeah, that's it. Those. Uh, wait. Do yeah. you guys remember Rat uh, Mouse Trap the movie? No. Oh, I don't, oh yeah, that was a great movie with Mr. The... Bean. Really? Was that a, I'm no, I'm thinking that's, that's Rat Race. race. <laughs> <laughs> Rat Race was a great that's movie. That's a good movie. <laughs> and what's his name? John Lovitz was so funny in that. That's another guy. Like John Lovitz has something about him that's so hunt? fucking funny. But like now, you know, he's not really casting anything. Yeah, and he has good faces. Mouse Hunt. He that's makes what really I was good thinking faces. Of. That was a fun movie. That's the opposite of Mouse Trap, dude. Did you see? The, you seen this movie? Yeah, yeah it was with it. Christopher Walken playing the. We talked and then about this. They already. ruined the entire house have. trying to get the one mouse. Yeah, this was a yeah. prominent movie movie in my childhood. We talked about this. You brought it up. I gotta go pee. I'll be back. Pee. Fucking bring up. Um, uh, what were, I forgot what I was gonna say now. Perfect. Right, we're not here to carry it. Yo, shout All right. Out, shout out to Floyd. What were you gonna say? I was gonna say now that he's gone, <laughs> this is what we want the podcast to be. Okay. <laughs> Just silent crickets. Yeah, turn that up so you can hear the. So I can tell jokes and it just be crickets. All right, no more dead air for us. Yo, uh, yo, shout out Sid Floyd. He's not here. He's somewhere in the Carolinas. Yep. Shout out Big Killer. Shout out Doomer. Shout out Riverside Culture. The Alien Entourage. Hell yeah, fucking Bride Dog with Relish. Yep, Bacon Bits. <laughs> bacon Bits and Bride Dog <laughs> with Relish. <laughs> with a cheese crusted bun. <laughs> Hell yeah, pretzel bun. Pretzel bun, there we go. <laughs> With the cheese. big salt, yeah. With the big salt, yeah, the pretzel big salt, salt with big pretzel on salt. Top of it. Yeah, and a and a and a long deli pickle. <laughs> hell yeah, dude! Hell yeah, pretzel bun, cheese on top, bacon bits. What was the rest? A fucking pickle, relish. pickle relish. I don't fucking know. Mustard. It was a hot dog sandwich too. Fuck that shit. <laughs> I'm into that no, debate. I'm just, I was fucking annoying, around. like, I was just keeps <laughs> popping up on the internet. I know. Like, <laughs> the entire question just ruins sandwiches to me. Like, like, why do we have to get that fucking technical about something that's just delicious? You know why it's not a what? sandwich? Why? Because once that bun breaks into two pieces, the hot dog's ruined. So that means it's not a sandwich because a sandwich takes two pieces of bread. That's not true. I, I well, want to say... So here's the problem with that. Even though I don't ag- I don't agree right? that a hot dog's a sandwich. Because if a wedge can no, still be two hoagie. pieces of bread. No, because yeah. yeah. like a hoagie breaks. But if it's two pieces of bread, the sandwich isn't ruined. Your hot dog's not ruined because... Nah, the hell yeah, breaks. it is. It's I'd round. Say, it's a round I would thing say that, that rolls 10% out. of the hot dogs I've ever eaten on a bun had a broken bun at the bottom. That's because yeah, you were so poor. Yeah, but weren't you pissed? That's good numbers. weren't you pissed? Yeah, but you gotta you gotta make ruined. you gotta oh. break you gotta make it through. So, but that's what I'm saying. So, but if a, if a hoagie if they put it on two pieces of bread, it wasn't even never one. It was never one. If no, they put it on two pieces, be, a hoagie could definitely like if you have a really what about a good, sub? A sub ain't on two no, pieces a, a of separate bread though. No, but here's the thing. Uh, here's I don't the thing know about, about that. Here's the thing about a hoagie or sub falling apart on you. If you have a really good overstuffed hoagie, and we're talking like a good yeah, and the bread is so bad that the bottom falls out on you. You're probably gonna have to now eat I'm that with the about. fork and when knife. You, when you buy a six foot sub, or your hands, and you get the cuts yeah. of a six foot sub, the bread is never attached on the other side usually. Yeah, no. it is. When you get a hoagie, no, no, he's talking about a six, six foot, foot sub. sub. When you uh, cut it, usually it's two long pieces of bread. Yeah, because a hoagie never is like a roll, and a sub is like a fucking roll cut in so half they and gave you, layered on top. What if they gave you a six foot hot dog, cut it into like four inch chunks, but there were separate breads. You could eat You'd be it. like, what the fuck is this? 
It's poor, but I'll, I'll, <laughs> no, I'll yeah, live with like, it. No. But if there's deli meat in between and some lettuce and tomato, but you never like, put. Yeah. What about That's a uh, sandwich? Okay. A sandwich what is about two pieces of bread. A hot dog on a piece of white bread folded. Yeah, is that a one sandwich? Piece of bread. Is that a it's sandwich? One piece of bread. No, open no. faced pork okay, but that's tube. Not, that's different. I'm saying open a sandwich, pork is, a sandwich tube is usually sandwich. two pieces of bread. That's what a hot dog is, right there. I just it's a tube of loose meat, force meat, or whatever the fuck they call it. Tube. If you use two white pieces of bread, isn't it a a fucking a, a fucking disaster? On a hot, on a hot dog? dog, yeah. But but if you throw how many some, hot dogs do you have on it? One, Aren't are they just cut one, in half? One hot dog. What if they're cut See, in half? Now you're talking different things. Yeah, I'll cut a hot dog in half and then slice it in half and put four little halves on a white piece of bread. We should stop now before we unleash the beast. <laughs> <laughs> That's not bad. Wait, you had some topics a before hot dog we got started. Oh. Uh, and he completely forgot about it. No, I was just saying because the other day when I was working. So like, what's the I deal with airplane that, food? <laughs> that like, like suburban area, right? There, I feel like suburbia or whatever you want to call it, right? I feel like, like there was people that didn't want to live in the city, right? But they also didn't want to live out in the country where there's nobody. So they found country places and decided just to build as many houses as they could, like in these areas. And I just, I don't know, like it's a no, I don't know where my point is going. I just thought it was weird, like, I maybe because I was because I was delivering mail right to all these houses, and I was just like, I don't know, like I'm just thinking like 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 these like we could have stayed like we could have made cities. I don't know. It's, I don't know. Now I'm getting oh lost my in my God. idea. Oh my God! Like I was hoping someone's gonna chime in. You just. What I'm you just made it's me like more yo, so dumb. Stanford if you look back in the day Stanford used to be a lot of country they built the downtown then people decided that they did not okay here's my point people decided they didn't want to live in the city because they didn't want to live like in buildings mm -hmm. so they went out into the, the country but they built houses fucking right next to each other close like close as fuck where there's barely any yards left so it's like they turned the country into house cities because they didn't want to live in the city oh. because they didn't want to live in in buildings. I don't, I don't know that that's entirely <laughs> accurate. No, I'm, I was hoping someone was going to chime in. No, it was what just what something. What I'm going to assume took place. I was going to let you ride that out. What I'm going to assume took Why? place Why? is if no one wanted to fucking live here, you'd end up with, you could buy a single house with 19 acres and you'd own a ton of property. But since people don't want to quite live in the city, but they want to be able to commute to the city, there's still enough demand in Stanford that people aren't holding on to basically giant globs of but farmable like, land because but like they can sell yeah. it for too much. Like, why would you imagine if downtown Stanford you owned a farm which mm. is close to the train station and how much money you could get breaking it up into lots? No, that's not what I'm houses. talking about. I'm saying instead of everyone just living in the city, right, and building bigger buildings and more apartments and living in apartments, they didn't want to live in the city, so they moved out into the the country. Right, but they but turned the, the country. So, so here's what I'm saying: there's so many people that don't quite want to be in the city. Yeah, they would rather be outside of the city, but be able to get to the city. But there's more that houses not, in no, these no, no, cities. That, that's why, because uh, there's so much you know demand, people are breaking up the lots because the lots are worth so much money that the areas outside of the city end up being more congested than if you went to the middle of fucking Vermont. Uh, I'm I'm saying like, man, you and I aren't seeing I don't don't sandwiches or all. houses. Tonight. <laughs> I'm seeing you go down a street that's all houses and all multifamily houses, and right. it's like it seems like you could have just been in an, all in an apartment building downtown in a like instead of making the suburbs a city no, where there's, there's so still, much people living in the suburbs where it's almost a, a city. You can understand why there's a preference to. Like, I could be closer to Manhattan or in Manhattan in a single bedroom. No, I mean in Stanford. I'm just talking about you right. could be in downtown Stanford in apartment buildings. Oh, yeah, that's instead just – oh, leaving, I hear what you're saying. Instead yeah, yeah, of yeah. living I in the suburbs with all the houses I don't so understand. Close. This is a modern generation thing. I don't understand the downtown high-rise living versus owning a home. That is a – But the houses are so close together and there's barely any yards left that I'm saying, like, they basically turn the suburbs into small cities. Where they're now it's not the suburb. They turn country into little house cities where there's multifamilies and there's just so many people in the suburbs. Now it's almost like cities. Whereas like you could have just been living in high, you could just we could add high rises and then you could have suburbs where there's yards and like instead of having like there's a street I deliver mail to 
that's got all houses, mm -hmm. like barely any, hardly any yards, and they're all multifamily houses. I Whereas, like, just... I feel like you could all live in an apartment building. And, but instead, then, instead and have, have no like, yard. and yeah, and have no yard, but then have have houses spaced out on that street where you could have yards. Where they, but right, they do but have backyards. The people... But they're multifamily, so you have to share those yards. Uh, 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 There's no uh, suburb uh, really anymore because all the houses are multifamily. I think you're just describing what people can afford. Maybe it's the east side more. I feel like like the suburbs are turning into multifamily. Okay. And it's so it's less suburban. No, I just didn't feel like because that's what people can afford. Is yeah, that no, of course. Forced to live I mean, I'm here family. too, but yeah, of course. All right, what was, what was you had one more you had one more topic that you came in hot with. Oh, I didn't come in hot. I just After the success of the first topic, it's probably bad. <laughs> it's probably just it's probably worse. <laughs> Let's see. Um, oh no, yeah, it's pretty dumb. It had, it had to do with the food chain. Let it fly. <clears throat> I was saying that how you know how like humans have removed themselves from the food chain. Basically. Oh, you can the, like and, they're and, just farmers. Can I the, see what this the pizza way, looks like? Yeah, yeah. The course. way I, then the the reason why Easy, I, though, it might fall. This? That's a salad. You got a salad yeah. to then eat an entire pie of pizza? Possibly. Uh, wait, that might fall. It's not gonna fall. There's no bottom to this. Wow, you fuck I mean that is fucking loaded with toppings. It was the best deal. You got fucking Let's beef, see. you've got uh peppers. On peppers. There? You've got that's about it. That's Some all I bacon can see. on there. Oh, I can smell that bacon. Oh, that smells delicious. A little sausage. It's good. <laughs> I can see it. I know exactly. Can all I the, b all the brown stuff. Right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for it. What are you waiting for? I don't want to make a mess. Fairfield Pizza. You're yeah, we got. We could, close, we could close out on this. You're welcome for and the then... free plug. And I like that you get, like, that they slice it into mini slices because there's so much beef on it. They know that you wouldn't otherwise be able to pick it up. No, That's what was the nice. second topic? It was... So we'll close out on this. Okay. So, I've, so I was just thinking, like, so we removed ourselves from the food chain be only because all animals do all day is, like, either they're looking for food or they're mating, right? And right. we found out, like, extracurricular activities. We found out other shit to do. Okay. And I feel like, so, like, you know when you, like, walk up to, like, a, a wild animal? And it just runs for its life, right? Because it thinks you're gonna eat him, right? Because it can't even like fathom in his there's brain something else to do. that you might actually that you want to actually walk up and just scratch his ear, right? There's no thought in his brain, and I mean, somehow we've like removed ourselves from where like other animals don't even they're like they can't fathom doing other things, right? Where it's like, and now, I don't know now I don't know where to go from there, but I just thought it was interesting that's like. We're like, we are animals, but we've evolved so much that we're like not in like the food chain is so like when we walk up to a wild animal, they literally think we're trying to eat them. Right. And we have no desire to eat them, but they can't even fathom that where they're just like, no, anything that walks up to me is going to eat us. And we're just like, oh, we're just going to play tennis or we're going to scratch on the, or we're going to just do random shit that it's like, it doesn't make sense how we are also animals on the same planet as like, I don't know, maybe I, I'm, I was stoned, obviously thinking about that, but <laughs> I think it's a function of. Nobody else is chiming in. That's what I'm saying. I think you're just describing consciousness. Maybe. It could be. I want to sign out. Maybe we could sign on that on consciousness. Oh, Wait, God. you never sang the shed thing. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Ready? Somebody, Somebody once told me the world was going to roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. That was and the now best one we ever did. You're signing off with the shed cast. That tonight, was the actually. worst, dude. Because you already told you who you're here with. <laughs> you forgot the song. We didn't forget it. We already. We, I miss you, Sid. Yeah, he would have definitely not have let that fly. <laughs> 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 and uh, we probably should have did it when uh, he steps out to piss. That I had a couple topics, but we'll oh, just yeah, right. you shelve those. Topics. See this? This is bullshit. It was silent this the entire bullshit. time, and then when you like, all right, we're done with the podcast. He's like, as as, but I, I had all these yeah, fun exactly. things to say. I, 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 I had a the whole time. I had things to say. Things to say. <laughs> and I going our episode. I, uh, I let you do your two topics. All right. No, we ended. It's fine. What do you got? <laughs> what do you got? This is supposed oh, to be man. a fun space oh, for right. everybody. Pass me a beer. Don't, don't hold back. Into it. I got no beer. napkins. Don't don't hold uh, back. What do you go. got? Here we go. All right. So <laughs> let me just wipe these off. This is fucking after hours. I always wonder why houses aren't even closer together. This <laughs> 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 be kind of what I'm on. <laughs> they don't even have a driveway. Where do they, where do they park their cars? Uh, okay, you got a Fuck, suburb, you got know. a city, but people are trying to turn the suburbs <laughs> into a city. Do you eat hot dogs? <laughs> do I eat hot dogs? Not often. 
I don't really, uh, not that I don't like hot dogs. I remember a million years ago I was listening to the radio and they were talking about nitrates and I was just like, this sounds really unhealthy. I'm not eating hot dogs anymore. And for the most part, like I, I've eaten, I eat like a hot dog a year since then. Damn. But for a while, I was eating, like, chicken sausages almost every morning for breakfast. Mm. That's not a hot dog. No, pre-cooked chicken sausages, and you just make it with your eggs. Oh, those eggs. are good. Those that's are good, oh, yeah. fucking that's unbelievable. Nitrates. I don't know. I'm just saying. Okay, right. <laughs> um, Maybe you should go back to that. Yeah. You ever had uh, Hebrew National hot dogs? You know, maybe, but I don't think so. Nah? No. So, uh, usually, like, when you buy, like, a pack of hot dogs, they come with six in them. Or right. eight. No, they come with eight, right? Six, oh, but no, the Hebrew six. National got six? No. Hebrew National has five. five. Okay. It's a weird number. <laughs> that means I, if you're hanging out with three people, not everyone can have two. It's, <laughs> it's also weird that they're Hebrew, <laughs> Hebrew Nationals. What do you, why? What would... You are <laughs> saying it's Jewish. That the they only Jew put five. The will only give put me five. five. <laughs> everyone else is only giving me eight. Well, I think it's a testament to... It's not eight. I think it's six and five. I think it's six and five. I think it's a testament to kosher quality. Or it's eight quality. to six. That's Maybe it might be like eight to six. National. It could be eight to six. I think it's eight and seven. <laughs> you know, seven. If it's an odd number, it makes it funny. <laughs> I think it's. I think regular hot dog packs give you eight, and Hebrew National gives you seven oh, straight. Oh, no, 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 no. Like no, a straight no, no, seven. No, it's like, not true. No, this is the... The a pack of hot dog buns is eight, right. and a pack of hot dogs is eight. Hebrew Nationals only come in packs of six. Hilarious. But all hot dog bun packs come in eight. But they're thicker. But what are you going to do with those two extra buns? Ballpark Franks uh, are the thickest well, hot dogs. Ten, <laughs> 10% of every bun falls apart on That's him. That's true. So, so you need to extra. they know that they got thick hot dogs. Yeah, you're, it's falling apart. <laughs> it's falling <laughs> ah, apart. Dude. They thought ahead. They thought ahead of that 10%. That they thought ahead. One is gonna fail, and that's you got an extra. How much do they come in? It's fine. It's fine. They got a fucking underwear. I gotta count the fucking. Dude, bulges. they've got they've got ju- they've got just as many as any other ones. All right, if I am eating a hot no, I'm dog, just I'm just gonna say the way to eat, eat a hot dog. A spicy, seven hot dogs. Is it seven? Spicy no, six. brown mustard, hot dog bun, yep. and sauerkraut. I do. I could do that. Hell yeah! Fuck yeah! I'd I'd approve of that. I'd even, but I throw a little relish on mine though. Uh, relish is gross, and so is ketchup. Ketchup doesn't belong in a hot <laughs> There's dog. There's seven, dude. I'll put everything on a hot it's dog. It's seven. Class. I all was I right. Want, ketchup all and all mustard. Want, oh, at all, and and sauerkraut and relish, everything. Uh, garbage. I'll throw it all in there. Chopped onions. I could go for fucking chopped I'll onions it, yeah. on my hot dog. Hell That's yeah. great. Yeah. I'll do it all one. Like I could do ketchup by itself. I could do it all like onions by itself. I think sauerkraut, sauerkraut is pretty foul. It's fu- if it's good on a hot dog It's disgusting But I could eat it all up together Or all by itself A hot dog a hot dog you just put Whatever the fuck you want on it Alright so the regular nat- People put Hebrew cheese, nationals put cheese Come with it? seven I've in never them. had cheese on a hot dog I don't good. think I've ever had cheese On a hot dog ever Good You shouldn't You ever had a hot dog That had cheese inside of it But cheese dogs are big Ugh. Cheese dogs Those are, are very big I can see Swiss cheese Working well on a hot dog uh, Almost like a Reuben But on a hot dog There's a wiener Craft yeah. singles You should what? check it out Bridge Street Wienery Shout out Bridge Street Wienery what uh, was on there? Friends of mine <laughs> over there. Oh, really? Yeah. They, they have, have a hot dog uh, eating a hot, contest. A, they have a hot dog eating contest like they do at Coney Island. Nice. Fourth of July. But they make, uh, it's a wienery, but they make, it's like a, what would you call it? Like a fry spot? Like, what? I don't what? know what you call it. A like, wienery. Like they, uh, yeah, they make hot dogs, but they make fried foods too. Right. Hamburgers. But it's a fry, a grill, like a fry. Like a good fucking nod. Like um, fried <laughs> Oreos like, and all that. My, like, I remember my dad this was so fun with my dad. We used to go to Giants games maybe like once a year and we would tailgate. And my dad's like a big fat guy. So like when we tailgated, <laughs> we, awesome. tailgated we tailgated big. But my dad had the greatest thing for tailgates. Firstly, kosher hot dogs, I think they're like, and I'm talking like real kosher, not Heber Nat, like Heber National. Yeah. My parents wouldn't eat, but like, yeah. I think kosher hot dogs are actually well. It's mostly a salt thing. Juice, salt, or meats more. Yeah. And I think also kosher meat, like extremely expensive. Like, but also it was you're butchered talking, a certain way, right? No, I, well, this this shit's packaged. Well, they're beef, aren't but they? They're supposed to be butchered. They're, they're supposed beef. to be one slice across the My throat. Dad, no, that's halal. <laughs> no, that's kosher. Look, look this up. I think it's 888. That's kosher. Um, 888 kosher sausage. Kosher I, I feel salt. like that was the, the brand. But my dad, he had yeah, do deep. images. Just do images. Deep. Go to images. I'm just curious if that was a. Uh, uh, we're going um, deep. 888. I feel like that was. I don't know. It's so many years. But my dad, here was his thing. So he would get like your um, kind of, I want to say, 
like a hoagie type roll. So you're talking like the oh there it is right there I remember these oh yeah those were Three fucking burgers. really good those <laughs> were really the really meal good. marts yeah those <laughs> were really good and then there was also hot kosher Italian and then there was also so here's what my dad would do <laughs> it looks nice. like my uh my search history <laughs> <laughs> here's what my dad would do he would get um you'd get like your bigger um I want to call like the po boy roll or whatever it's kind um, of like oh that looks disgusting uh, Portuguese roll yes. Like a Portuguese Ooh, yeah. roll, yes. That's, that's you would get nice. a Portuguese roll, and you would do one of the beef and veal sausages, and then he would have like a like a giant kielbasa, and you would do two. You would do two in one bun, yeah, along with hot good. cherry peppers. Ooh. Holy shit! I like this was fucking legendarily good. That sounds People good. from other tailgates who yeah. were like eating these stacked cheeseburgers <laughs> would walk over and be like. What the fuck is that? And can I have one? Hell we would yeah, stack sausage. them up and give it to people. I'm telling you, legendarily good. A good sausage. Yo, everyone loves a good sausage. <laughs> what about some liverwurst? That's true, though. I don't even know what the fuck is a liverwurst. You don't know what liverwurst is? No. Dude, they had good sausage over at Maryland. That guy pulled out that platter of meats. Oh, yeah. His, his Max, his Hungarian wife, made Hungarian sausages yeah. and stuff. Oh, I didn't eat that stuff because it was pre-show, and I don't want to. I, I don't want to risk either. my and stomach then I on left, the road. And then I know I should have took yeah. a bunch of shit on for the road. Good old separated. We ended up, we ended up eating late at night. Actually, I pulled Did out you? the entire. Yeah, because he was like, I, I pulled, I re-pulled out the platters, but I didn't see the. Uh, I wish I, I could have stayed. Oh, that looks gross. We had. Here's what ended up happening: we crashed in his house. Um, Not with the snake. Not with the snake. His basement floor had, like, two guest rooms. I slept on the couch. And then we had breakfast with him, his wife, and the kid in the morning. He could not have been more welcoming. Yeah. Also, I wish you guys hang... Like, the podcast was amazing, and it was a freak was show. Dope. But then one of the fans brought me, like, the thing of joints. We were smoking joints all night. Yeah, like, that was awesome. Just hanging out at the bar. Shout I wish you guys guy. could have crashed. We just, like... Dude, we went for, it like, was another... Only because, uh, well, not it was only because, but us, uh, Sid was literally to going to... Yeah. yeah. And the rental, we rented for one day. And I won't have to pay for the second day. Yeah, that was a fun. That was a really fun night. It was awesome. That was dope when blast. the snake came out. Hell yeah! Let's sign off on that. And then I don't fucking good. No, note. I think did you, you did you have other topics. That oh, was you a had good one. one more. Um, did All you right. guys see that guy get his bicep blown off? <sighs> oh, here's my feeling on that. <laughs> <laughs> the, an, the answer is yes. Oh, can I get another? Do I have another Budweiser yeah, in there? Two left. I'll have one more Fuck, and then dude. let him have the other one. We dude, should have. Yeah, we, yeah, we could. We could go to Porchester and back in 20 minutes. No, I should have brought more beer. This is my bad. Um, but it's possible. It is possible. What was I? Oh, here's the problem Louise. with that video. You know, every time you get shit online now, it's never from the beginning. So it's really Austin hard to did. evaluate. So the two people he shot, it was on his back and they were running over to attack him. Those two people, they had it coming. That's self defense. Self -defense. You're, you're on the ground. Those are and, and he had a pistol, are, right? He, yeah. The other guy had a, had yeah, a gun. Yeah, that, that turned out yeah. he had a pistol. Originally, we didn't know that. But self defense. But two people are running over to kick you in the face. If one of them gun, kicked him in the face. Those two are. That's saying, self defense. I'm just saying, if you have a gun, you're lucky to have that gun, and you're lucky that you know how to use it well enough yeah. that you're able from your back to defend yourself. Mm -hmm. And but I, I don't know what happened before that. If he was firing into people unwarranted, is, that they then attacked yes, him. Yes. Then the then the people who were trying to run over while he was on the ground are fucking heroes because he was attacking innocent people. Yeah. I don't know what happened beforehand, and without knowing what happened before, and it's impossible to just use your you own brain and declare yeah, who is the I asshole. Know it's hard, but do you want to take what this story is? That's your topic. You you want me to tell the story? It. You don't know the story. Let me get okay. on this. All right. This is we don't know. This is from the video, though. though. This is just from this, the video yeah, I've just, seen. Uh, speculation. From, I I uh, saw six different live streams yeah. put together of what happened. So the, wait, let me just. The oh, one speculation wanna... is. All right, go. Go no go go. The one speculation is. Trump and Melania actually fuck. Zero. You oh. think never? It's just paper marriage. Oh, he's like, you better he's get the fuck over bitches. here. You think so? Oh yeah, he's, I mean he's known to. But even in the white, how do you pull that off? Hookers? How do you get away with that? Bill Clinton did it. But he did it in the White House. He was doing it like... in the White House. He's not fucking in the White House. We're missing his speech. Dude, they probably go Let's to Let's separate... wrap it up. He got... The dude... So, it was so 17 there, there might have been a shot fired before he started shooting. They said that they were chasing him, and then some guy shot a yeah. gun, and that they started chasing him behind a car lot because he was defending the car lot. But after he oh, shot somebody. Oh, shit. Else. Before I forget, I have money for you guys. The car he lot. He shot, though. No. Yo, watch the zoom. 
You're out of control. All right, so let's sign off on that. Then. Yeah, I don't want to talk about it anymore. Right, we'll talk problem. about it on something else. All right, on a different so podcast, off possibly. From the Shedcast Boys, Robbie the Fire. I got one more thing to say. Yep. Claire Vita. Claire Vita. It's Catch fucking us. sick, dude. Yeah, it's a water enhancer and fucking uh, ultra emul- emulsified. So that means it fucking uh, absorbs into the water twice as fast and into your body twice and as fast. And it's not fucking, it's not gigaster. We don't have any. Rob's got them all. I mean, yeah. Sid, Sid's hoarding He them took all. it with him. Okay. He's gonna bring it. It's back, not gigastered. It's what is it? Micro <laughs> emulsified. Micro emulsified. Yeah, because emulsified means it's easier to to mix into uh, liquid, but also it turns out that it it absorbs into your body easier. Also. Yeah, CBD is pretty good for you too. I've so heard. so actually, they say that when you uh, smoke CBD, you absorb like twenty percent of C- of it into you, but if you drink the emulsified Clair Vita, you'll get ninety percent. Yeah, it's suspended. Of the CBD. It's fucking suspended and. Mid air, mid, and you can catch it. <laughs> it's not bad. You shed ten, and shed ten, you get ten percent off. Go to Clear Use that. It's a coupon use that code. Promo code shed ten. Shed ten. S H E D ten. Shed ten. How promo code ten percent off. Right? Yeah, the twelve hours. No, South Carolina is fourteen hours. North Carolina is twelve. I think. All right. Oh, I gotta tell people like. It, Wait, we're signing off. Oh, All right, man. signing off with the Check Cats Boys and Robbie the Fire. Wait, do you, what, does he got anything to plug? Uh, he by I mean Ronnie. Ronnie, <laughs> run your mouth. Run your mouth podcast and summer Porsche chart. Catch it on SoundCloud or wherever you want to catch it. See you later. Sayonara, bitches. Yeah, you can find me at Tech Eight. Oh, I Shred Tech Eight. You're I out of control. on dude. all platforms. Sayonara later. He bitches. wants to listen to Trump and the beers all over the Zoom. No, I'm just kidding. Sid. I'm just kidding, Sid. <laughs> that's not Sid. That. Where's Mikey? He just leaves. He's.